Check it out guys, 165 amp hours. Yet yeah, it's in the same size as one of these standard 100 amp hour batteries. This thing is epic. Let me show you what it can do. All right, let's unbox this battery from Rododio. Got some documentation, post bolts and covers, just one size of post bolts. And here's the battery, 12.8 volt nominal. Check that out though, 165 amp hours. All packed into a group 31 size, low temperature charging protection, smart Bluetooth app. I am so excited about this battery. I always love when they put fast, easy to read specs right on the battery itself. So check this out, 2,112 watt hours of energy. And we have a max continuous charge and discharge current of 165 amps. That is epic. You can do them in up to four in series, 48 volt system, uh, but just two in parallel. But that would be epic with how much uh, power these uh, pack. This is my full size fridge right here, and it's in my kitchen. If you notice, it's plugged in right there. And we come over here, you can see that uh, we've got the Rododio 165 amp hour smart battery here. And we're gonna see two things. We're gonna first see how long this can run that fridge for. And then I've got the Victron smart shunt here on the top and we're gonna be doing capacity test as well. I've got this power station here and uh, that's what we're gonna be feeding the uh, DC power into. And so that will convert the DC to AC power because it's got an inverter. And then rarely am I right here when the battery dies. Sometimes I'm gone to work or whatever and gone for multiple hours. So the extra battery capacity in the power station will help keep my fridge cold until I can get to this. Uh, but we can easily see uh, how much uh, power and how much runtime we got uh, with the Victron Smart Shunt. Let's go ahead and plug this battery in. And then as you can see here on the Victron Smart Shunt app, everything is zeroed out. April 6th, 9.14 a.m. Okay, check it out. April 7th, 5.16 p.m. This uh, full-size fridge runtime test has concluded. So that means this 165 amp hour Rododio battery just ran my fridge for over 32 hours. That is absolutely fantastic. Now we take a look at this Smart Shunt app. You can see we discharged 164 amp hours and uh, that is definitely a pass. I like to see it within five amp hours of the rated capacity just because this is a less than a 0.2c rate so below standard testing conditions so it does skew the numbers to the lower side coming within one amp hour of full advertised capacity on less than a 0.2c rate is absolutely fantastic i got the battery on a charger here that's what you can hear in the background but let's just show you this app super fast rododio has really done a nice job with their app this uh, main page here just shows you all the critical values that you need to know you need gives you your state of charge your time remaining whether you're charging or discharging uh, your power there uh, in watts current going in or out, the voltage of the battery, and current capacity of the battery. And then there's just a little uh, area down here where it tells you if the cells are balanced or not, and uh, it tells you if the, there's an error or problem with the battery here in the cells section, and uh, if there's uh, further information from BMS, it'll show up here. Everything's working correctly. If you swipe up from the bottom here where it says battery info, uh, you can change the name, and uh, it gives you a temperature reading in the battery, uh, how many cycles it's gone through, what firmware we're using, and then on device controls, you're able to toggle the discharge off and on, uh, you're able to remove it uh, from your uh, app list, and you're able to completely shut the BMS down and everything uh, by flipping that off. So yeah, Rodeo has really done a nice job at making the app easy to use and very clean and updated. I love it. Welcome to the high amperage testing. A little test bench set up here. So this is the Rodeo 165 amp hour battery. Currently, it's just hooked up to this big 3000 watt low frequency inverter. I have another 3000 high frequency inverter right here that, that we can pair up. Uh, if we need to push this even harder than the 3000. This should be able to overload the battery, and that's what we're going to try to do right now. I've got uh, two heavy loads down here. I've got a space heater and a heat gun, and uh, that should put us uh, well into the realm of what the maximum of this inverter is, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get this to trip out on overcurrent protection. This is rated for 165 amps continuous, however, so uh, it definitely is going to pack a little more punch than your average 100 amp hour battery. I have the Victron Smart Shunt right here. We'll be monitoring that as uh, the time goes on. Let's uh, start out with the heat gun here. So that uh, heat gun, as you can see, is uh, pulling about 150 amps, so we need to hit it uh, harder. Let's just go straight for the gusto and go high on this heater. And we got a shutdown. That battery did something that uh, I really like a lot. Uh, could you tell? Oh, and it has auto start. So that's always good to see that uh, it does an auto restart. Let's do that one more time. Let's see if we get the, the same result. So let's go ahead and fire this up to high heat. We'll go ahead and turn this heater up to high. So that's 20, 3,500 watts, 370 amps. It's beeping again here, it's gonna kick off. And there it goes. All right, this time I'm not gonna push it quite as hard. I'm going to just kind of get it up to its max. And then we're just gonna kind of slowly push it over and see at what point does it start to uh, kick off at. Okay, so on this one, let's go ahead and uh, turn the heat all the way up to high. That's spiking up actually over 165 amps at the moment. Should settle down here once those uh, heat coils warm up. There we go. Now we're uh, below the 165 amp uh, continuous mark. So 
I'm going to kind of start in the middle of the ground here with this heat gun. Have it set to 620 degrees. That should be about 100 amps over what uh, the battery can handle. Not quite. Uh, we're just over 200. 40, 230, somewhere right in there. Uh, I'm actually going to just let this run for a minute and uh, let's see if it uh, runs this or if it uh, kicks it off. All right, it's still running it pretty consistently. Let's go ahead and uh, kick it up a little more heat here on the heat gun. Let's uh, bump it up another 100 degrees. There we go, that's 250 amps. Oh, and that just killed it. And it was the battery that uh, died, not the inverter. I, I've tested many a battery that uh, will just go and go and go and never shut off. And so it's very good to see that uh, this does shut off. You still may consider uh, a fuse uh, for it uh, just to protect your cabling, um, but uh, you can uh, rest easy knowing that if there was you know, a dead short or something like that in the system, uh, this would trigger an overcurrent protection. But boy, it can dish out some current. To, to have this form factor and the ability to go 165 amps continuous out of it is absolutely fantastic. So great job, Rododio. All right, we've got this uh, Rododio 165 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. We're gonna do heavy surge testing on this. This is a 3000 watt low frequency inverter. It handles surges like a champ. What we've got set up here is an amp clamp on the AC wiring here. I don't have a amp clamp that works with DC wires, but we'll be able to measure the inrush on this and then do a little math to calculate how much power get is being pulled from that battery. If you follow this cord here, we're going to be running my gas clothes dryer. I've got a load of heavy wet clothes in there. This thing has been the death of many a power station and battery. The amount of current it takes to get that drum as well as all that wet clothes going from zero to 100% is a huge amount. This is a really good test. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys here on the app. I don't know if it will react fast enough for us to see anything, but just in case it does, three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? It did catch it. It spiked up to 4,200 watts. That battery started that dryer, no problem. Now uh, here, let's just look and see. On the AC side, we pulled over 30 amps of current. Based on the app though, you saw that it was like 4,200 watts, 330 some odd amps DC power coming out of this battery. And that's way over what it's rated for, but that was just for, you know, a one or two seconds. And that's what we like to see, is these batteries being able to provide uh, a huge amount of power for a surge like that uh, and not trip out. But then like we saw on the uh, sustained heavy amperage testing, it is very good at cutting itself off after an extended period of time in order to uh, keep things safe and protect itself. So Rododio has knocked it out of the park on this one. Okay, so just a quick uh, comparison here. 165 amp hours, so that's all of that battery and 65% of this battery. And it's all in the same form factor. Let me show you that. Okay, so I've got the 165 amp hour one here in the front and I've got one of their 100 amp hour units in the back. So check it out, they're exactly the same width and they're exactly the same height, and they're exactly the same depth. So if you're like me and space is at a premium, and you want to pack as much energy into as little space as possible, this is totally the way to go. All right, we just got this uh, battery out of the freezer. You might be able to see uh, some frost uh, accumulating on it and what have you. It's uh, been in there uh, quite some time, actually. I was uh, gone for a couple of days, and so it sat in there a good three days. So it is a very frozen battery. As you can see right here, it advertises low temperature charging protection. So we've got the charger set up here. When I plug it in, that light is going to turn red. It should just be red for a few seconds and then immediately turn green because the battery should reject any kind of charge. So let's see if that happens. And there we go. So yep, low temperature charging protection works perfectly on this battery. I just can't get over that it, uh, it's basically almost both of these put into one. So awesome. I'm gonna leave links for this down in the description as well as a pinned comment so you guys can check it out further. I love this thing. Rododio has totally hit out of the park, not just with the awesomeness of a huge amount of extra capacity, but uh, also in all of their programming of the BMS and their app and everything, it's just working exactly the way it should textbook performance from a lithium iron phosphate battery. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I love hearing from you. I try to read and respond to all of your comments if I possibly can. You guys always have so many great things to share and uh, thoughts and observations that uh, I missed. So anyway, please sound off in the comments. I can't wait to uh, hear from you down there. Please consider liking and subscribing. 100% free for you to do, but it benefits the channel tremendously. All of you stay safe and we'll catch you all next time.